Do you ever like take any leftovers you have in your fridge and just pile it all on one plate and call it a meal? Because that's what the Borderlands movie feels like, honestly. Like, I... It's not... It's not like the worst thing, but it just doesn't seem to have a good start with what they've been doing. All right, let's start from the get-go. The poster. The poster itself, pretty pretty interesting. It's got sort of like a Mad Max Suicide Squad vibe. But uh, besides that, it's just kind of weird what they did with the cast. I thought they were going to go chronologically. If you played any of the Borderlands games, like I've only played one and two, but the first game... That it had a cast of four people and only two of them are on this poster. I guess they axed the other two because I didn't even see them in the trailer. They, they, they play a big part. They play a really big part. So I don't know if uh, it most likely seems they're doing their own story. They're not really going with uh, the games, I'm, I'm guessing. Uh, from this poster alone, it's starting with Lilith played by Kate Blanchett. I mean, it's not bad. It's just Lilith is, um, I would say, a bit uh, younger. And um, yeah, I, I, she's a great actress. I like her stuff. So most likely she could pull it off, especially like with the door. So there's definitely that aspect. Uh, but then you go to Roland with Kevin Hart. I saw some of his, uh, uh, like his last Netflix movie. I forgot what it was called. It was like a heist movie. But surprisingly, he's not the comic relief in there. He plays a decent main character. But I don't know if he can uh, pull off a role in. Jack just lost his only way to awaken the warrior. We got the vault key, but this isn't over yet. We got to find Jack and take him out. Lily. Personally, I would think it, Idris Elba would work, especially with his uh, work in uh, Suicide Squad, the second one. But hey, like, sure, it's just that gun in his hand. Uh, at, at first, I thought that was a Nerf gun. But um, yeah, I, I know Borderlands has like quirky guns here and there, but that one just looked off to me. <laughs> Tiny Tina... Uh, Looks, looks good, I guess. It doesn't look as crazy. That's my one big criticism. Also, she only appeared, she st started appearing in the second game. So they really brought her in early for, you know, I guess. It, all in all, it looks like they took characters from other games of the series that can be quotable, marketable even. Uh, so you have Tiny Tina and she's sitting on top of Krieg or Craig, I forgot how you pronounce it. He was this playable character again in Borderlands 2. He was a psycho who has an inner voice that's actually sane, but whenever he tries to talk, psycho dialogue comes out. Oh great, now the rats are arriving. Turn around, Siren. Damn it, turn around or you're dead. Tell her to look back, now. STRIP THE FLASH! No, listen to me. SALT THE WOUND! Yeah, great. We'll salt all the wounds later. But right now, if you don't listen to me, she's gonna die. And it's gonna be your fault. TURN AROUND, PRETTY LADY! Again, they took a character that's quotable. <laughs> uh, I'm surprised they didn't go with, like, the cyborg ninja from the second one, but... Alright, and then there's Tannis, played by Jamie Lee Curtis. Um, again, Tannis seemed a bit younger, but, uh, sure. And then, of course, there's Claptrap that's being played by Jack Black, and I have nothing against that because Jack Black is a great voice actor. He's been doing it for years, so I trust him. He's done Bowser. That was good, too. Uh, although I prefer the original voice actor for Claptrap. Sad they couldn't bring him in. <sighs> But yeah, that, that was just the poster alone. Uh, it's just uh, tragic that how can they not get Mordecai and Brick? It, it's uh, uh, They better get a spinoff called Brick and Morty or something like that. I mean, looking for the posters, they're kind of flaunting that, oh, from the producers of Uncharted, Spider-Man and Venom. I don't know which Spider-Man, hopefully the good ones, but um, Uncharted was eh, Venom... The first one was alright, second one was a bit short, <laughs> but 
I don't know why flaunt that. Like, yeah, we're the producers of this and that. Sure, buddy. But yeah, after watching the trailer of Borderlands, it could be fun to some extent. It's just, it feels like a, a fan fiction. Like they just, they took the setting and environment, toned it down a bit and put some mashup of characters in a cast. I guess it's, it's, it's gonna just be its own thing most likely. I just felt like they would go for a more Suicide Squad tone, um, just set in a Mad Max world. That's basically what Borderlands is with the strange humor like marvel humor is something that people make fun of a lot and they say it's cringy but the thing is with borderlands it works because it's like hard baked in its identity of being like that and it feel like like after watching the trailer it feels like it wasn't there as much as you think it would be uh there were some jokes and some dialogues that like oh that th i could see that in borderlands but mm, the other like 70 80 percent it's like eh, very watered down like for example tiny tina tiny tina is this 13 year old very unstable girl that lady's got a gut full of dynamite and a booty like Mayhaps, if you talk to the dwarves, you could join forces and become unstoppable, mayhaps. And um, in here, she seems a bit mellow in some sense, especially like in that scene where she's in the car and talking about how she doesn't roll the window, get splashed. If that was actually the one in the game, she would probably start laughing maniacally or something and say a random gibberish word. Uh, but there was one line that she said that made me think, oh, I could kind of see the tiny Tina there, like raining with body parts and stuff like that. Uh, but outside, uh, well, well, we'll just have to wait for the movie. Cra Craig, Krieg, whatever, uh, he didn't really get to say much or do much. I didn't see anything in the trailer, so... Don't know what they're gonna do with him. Uh, Lilith, again. Mm, uh, um, I don't know. Claptrap was good. Uh, Roland. <laughs> Roland's supposed to be like, a, not completely stern, but he's a bit of a leader, serious type. Kevin Hart. Uh, if he could pull off what he did in that heist movie, then maybe I could see it. Uh... Regardless, I'm not, I'm not going to be too picky with this because it, it might just be a fun little adventure type of movie that you turn your brain off. Uh, yeah, you, you don't think too much about it, but all in all, I'm surprised they didn't use Handsome Jack. The villain they showed in the trailer was just random generic guy, uh, or maybe it's someone that I have from the others, like Tales of the Borderland or something that I don't know. Um, yeah, the, uh, the, considering how Hollywood just goes for like, oh, what's marketable like they did with the main cast here. I I would think they would go with Handsome Jack because of his quotes and how, how much people love him as a villain. I, I'm surprised they didn't cast Chris Pratt to play him or something like that. Uh, but yeah, it, it seems to be going pretty interesting. I heard about this movie way back, so I read some some things about it it finished filming in 2021 so uh it's taken them three years to re release this i i hope they're confident in this at least i hope it's not like a madam web which again i'll i'll be talking about madam web i watched that movie a few days ago and um Oh boy, I, I don't know what they've been taking in those offices to make that movie, but it's it's something, and not in a good way something. Yeah, though, uh, hopefully if they release a second trailer, they increase the insanity a bit, uh, because I feel like Borderlands is exactly what Suicide Squad emulated with colors and the just wackiness, quirkiness. You, you could go crazy with the Marvel humor here, no one's gonna judge you because it's supposed to be insane. There's characters uh, that f do crazy things in this world. I, I'm thinking about like those psycho midgets that attack you. They'll probably won't do something like that, or maybe they will. Uh, who knows? 
regardless, another movie trailer dropped, a recent one that I watched, and I was like, huh, this seems more Borderlands than the actual Borderlands movie. And that's the movie called Boy Kills World, which is pretty awesome. I'm gonna probably watch it because everything about it looks exactly like what I would expect from a Borderlands movie. They have uh, interesting characters, psycho characters, a character who has an inner voice but can't talk and that inner voice is a uh, uh, very like, I wouldn't say sane, but uh, uh, very charismatic voice in a sense uh, that I expected Krieg to have in the trailer, which didn't. And the villains are these corporate capitalist, funny type characters like Handsome Jack. <laughs> I know how hard it is to get a serial company to sponsor mass murder. I, I feel like this is going to be the Borderlands movie for me, at least. Boy Kills World is a very interesting premise, and uh, I can't wait to see that one. For Borderlands movie, I might see it. If it gets good reviews, I'll wait and see how it comes out. If not, I'll definitely probably see it on streaming services. Uh... Well, we'll see. I'll, I'll, maybe I'll give it a review if I if I have like spare change for a ticket. But <sighs> these video game adaptations are very hit or miss, huh? Sonic did good. Mario Brothers was good. Detective Pikachu was good. I feel like the kids one do really good. Uh, Halo was well. That was just uh, a guy in Master Chief's suit. Uh, just constantly taking his helmet off um, like by itself the halo show if it was a, another sci-fi series i think it would be good it's just god can you put your helmet on for at least a few minutes you look cool uh, but then you just take it off come on man anyways yeah that's that's all there is <laughs>